This is our grand theory group presentation about Martha Rogers, the science of unitary human being. She was a nurse, a researcher, theorist, and author. Martha Elizabeth Rogers was ahead of her time in her thinking and conceptualization. Nurses and healing practitioners can see her theory integrated into many facets of today's approaches up to healing the human and the spirit. Martha Rogers was born on May 12, 1914 in Dallas, Texas, and shared her birthday with one of the most well-known nurse influencer in history, Florence Nightingale. Martha was the oldest of four children and her parents had strong core values firmly rooted in education. Martha was known for her passion to read as early as age of three. By fourth grade, approximately age nine, Mar Martha had read every book in her, her school library. Martha not only read fast, she also absorbed her information and story just as a quick. By her senior year of high school, Martha had already completed all high school level math and was the only female enrolled in her college level algebra course. After high school, Martha entered into a nursing program at a local hospital and would eventually transfer to another program at Knoxville General Hospital, from where she received her nursing diploma in 1936. In 1937, she received public health nursing degree from George Peabody College in Tennessee. In 1945, Martha earned her master's from Teachers College at Columbia University. In 1954, she attained her doctorate in nursing from John Hopkins University in Baltimore. In her career, 1937, she was a public health nurse for the Children's Fund of Michigan. In 1940-1945, she was a member of Visiting Nurse Association, Hartford, Connecticut. In 1945 to 1951, she was the executive director at the Visiting Nurse Service in Phoenix, Arizona. After completing her doctorate, Martha spent the next 21 years as a professor and head of the Division of Nursing at New York University. During her time there, she established five bachelor's curriculum for nursing, theory-based learning, started her work on paradigm for nursing and science of unitary human being. From 1961 to 1990, Rogers was able to publish several nursing publications. In 1990, she published Nursing Science of Unitary Reducible Human Beings Update and Vision of Space-Based Nursing. Martha died on March 13, 1994 and in 1996 was inducted into American Nurses Association Hall of Fame posthumously. Martha Rogers of Unitary Human Beings views nursing as a science and art and combined the two concepts of science and art and sought to see the human as integral part of the universe. Nursing focuses on people and the observable human environment field processes that emerges, the pattern and environmental fields are transmitted by waves and when the pattern emerges, they can be manifested as observable events. When nurses understand the identifying and processes and patterns, they can better understand the human experience. During the era of Martha Rogers, the social perspective during the 1960s were dealing with Vietnam War and a lot of civil rights movements. There was cultural shift and people are beginning to accept ch changes in policies, races, and economic standards. Women in the 1960s, 1970s were accepting jobs that were first set out to be male-oriented while the system of the working class existed. Healthcare was gaining new insights. Rogers' development of the theory started as an abstract theory that was taken from the other theories about sciences. Martha particularly liked von Bertalafi theory on general system, Rapoport's open system, and Herrick's contribu contribution on evolution of human nature. When she studied the work of these scientists, she performed the basis of her proposition that human system are open system that are embedded in a larger open environment. 
Rogers' theory is a breakdown of the phenomena that are considered important in nursing. The focus is placed on the human as a unit with the central component of energy fields, openness, pan-dimensionality, and pattern, which she used as a pattern to form her system. Rogers' theory is based on the concept of humans are viewed as unified whole and not as sum of its part. The theory is based on the idea that the environment and humans are in a continuously exchange of energy in an open pattern. She viewed humans as being capable of awareness, feeling, choosing, and that man is a unified whole that possesses integrity. The theory is anchored on the concept that energy fields, openness, and pan-dimensionality and pattern that are building blocks of her system. Rogers viewed nursing as maintaining and promoting health, preventing illness, and caring for the sick and disabled. Her idea was to influence nursing to see the patient as a whole unity when planning and delivering care. Part of Rogers' theory for nursing paradigms are nursing, environment, health, and person. Nursing is theoretical structure to integrate patient in relationship with their environment to guide patient care and healing. It also depicts the nurse is a part of the healing environment. Um, therapeutic use of self, being present in patient's environment, utilize active listening, acknowledging patient issues and concerns, and show kindness and empathy. Environment includes the physical surroundings of the patient, healing colors, soft sound, and smell promotes therapeutic environment. Safety checks for Example, hourly rounding decreases call lights and unnecessary alarms. Family and friends are also influencing the patient's healing. Health means living in harmony with environment. Wellness in the mind, body, and spirit is influenced by the perception and the background of social interaction and environment. People who are in lower socioeconomic status noted higher incidence of adverse health outcomes. Nurses utilize theories to assess and develop individualized nursing intervention. The person is the human in energy field and the universal energy of constantly interacting. Patient satisfaction pertains to perception of importance and judgment from the nurse. Nurses promote patient's dignity by practicing self-awareness of verbal and nonverbal communication, advocating for the patient and encourage patient autonomy and participation in their care. The said four meta paradigms are evolving around healing. The eight concepts of Rod Rogers nursing theory and are energy field, openness, pattern, pan-dimensionality, hemodynamics principles, resonance, helicity, and integrality. Energy field is a fundamental unit of living and non-living. Field is a unifying concept. She explained that a, to perceive human beings and environment as a whole energy field provides guidance. Energy signifies the dynamic nature of the field. A field is in, in continuous motion and is infinite. Openness means there are no limits that would hinder or block the energy flow between environment field and human beings. It refers to the qualities exhibited by the open system, human beings and their environment as open system. Pattern is the distinguishing characteristic of an energy field perceived as a single wave. Pan-dimensional is a non-linear domain without spatial or temporal attributes. It's Boundaries are imaginary and constantly fluctuating. Hemodynamic principle proposed the way the unitary human being is perceived. The three principles of hemodynamics are resonance, helicity, and integrality. Resonance, human beings are thought to be aware of patterns and diversity of life rhythms, for example, sleep wave rhythm, emotional fluctuations, and hormonal levels are all connected to wave pattern. Changes the course in this form lowered to higher frequency. The helicity is like life is continuous and moves in one direction from conception to birth in a non-linear path. A good example is Linky Toy, which is spiral and only moves on one particular direction and will not come back to its pre previous state.
Likewise, human beings changes progressing towards diversity. The integrality principle explains that there is a mutual continuous process between human beings and the environment. It is divided into two categories, reciprocity, which is the wholeness and openness of human interaction with the environment, and synchrony means a continuous change in the human field and environment field. For example, a child playing outside under the sun where he gets his vitamin D also gets a sunburn. In that scenario, there was an ongoing process affects both human beings and their environment. In Martha Rogers' theory, it's all connected. Major concept of her theory are person, health, nursing, environmental field, and energy field. Martha Rogers' theory was about wholeness of being, openness of being, and environment, unidirectionally process, pattern and organization, and sentience and thoughts. The science of unitary human being holds great importance in nursing practice. For over four decades, this theory has been evident in nursing education, scholarship, and practice. Nursing scholarship within this theory involves the numerous derived theories of Rogers' work by several noted theories like Barrett, Butcher, and Boltemir. The visible manifestation of Rogers science has been embraced by and put into practice setting by Rogers practitioners. The science of unitary human beings has a long history of theory testing research. The theory is not directly testable nor does it define particular hypotheses or theories due to its abstract nature, but is testable in principle. The concept cannot be directly measured Therefore, testing the validity of the concepts is questionable. Rogers' theory carries nursing into areas impossible to study using linear, three-dimensional, and reductionistic methods. However, numerous research studies have been developed using Rogers' model and reported in nursing literature. Parsimony, the science of unitary human beings, has been found to be relatively parsimonious. Rogers claimed that nurses' role was to be to serve people, but the role of the nurse was not clearly identified in this theory. Value in extending nursing science. The major value of Rogers' work stems for its ability to extend nursing science, eliciting non-traditional ways of viewing the world and nursing. The theory contributes to nursing science as an influenced scientific inquiry in professional nursing practice. E.A.M. Barrett developed a mid-range theory directly derived from the postulate and principles of Rogers' science of unitary human beings, called the theory of power as knowing participation in change that guided both practice and research. For this theory, the power of knowing participation in change tool was created and can be used in numerous nursing situations to measure one's relative frequency of power. This is the overview of Barrett's theory, where the power is the capacity of knowing participate in the nature of change that characterize the continuous mutual process of individuals and their environments.